Hello, Kita Queens and Kita Beauty Tees. It's me again, and I'm back. Today, we will be doing this client tutorial on my client, Yana. So, I started by cleaning off her face. Now, I'm going to apply this moisturizer. Y'all know how I do. Yana is an upcoming model. So, if y'all want to follow her, I will have her social media link down below so y'all can go support. Y'all see how pretty she is with or without makeup. So, you know, go support. Now, I'm going to put this primer on her face. And I'm basically going to put it everywhere where your skin will produce the most oil. So, the forehead, the cheeks, you know, the chin. Now, I'm going to do her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are microbladed, so I didn't have to do much to them because they're basically already filled in. So, I just lined the top and the bottom. And then, I just filled them in at the tail, as you're going to see. And I just brushed them out. I'm doing so using my Black Nika K eyebrow pencil. Now, I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other eyebrow. Sorry, y'all. In this video, you will have to bear with me through a few clips because I had my hair in a high bun puff thing. And it was throwing off my ring light. So, sometimes it'll look too bright. And then, sometimes it may get a little dark. It didn't do that too many times at the clip. But, I'm just saying, y'all know. Now, I'm taking these two LA Girl Pro Concealers. Taking the lighter shade and lining the bottom. And I'm going to use a darker shade at the top. The shade names will be listed down below in the description box if anybody is interested. I like to apply the products to my hand and then just dip in it if I need more. Just so I don't have to keep squeezing more product out of the actual tube. I have a foundation plate that I can use, but I just, I like working with my hands. I don't know what it is. I just like working with my hands. The brush that I'm using is from Crown Brushes. Beauty by Melissa recommended this brush for cut creases. I don't really like it for cut creases, but I think it's perfect when I'm cleaning up my client's eyebrows. It's like my favorite brush that I like using when I'm doing this. But now I'm just buffing out that concealer with the buffing brush. I'm not sure where this one came from. Probably got it off AliExpress. But then I'm just going to line the top with the same brush. Just flipped over. This is like Yana's fourth time coming to me, but I only tried to record her one other time and the video came out blurry. But if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the look and you know it's doing numbers because all Yana looks come out good because Yana just pretty anyway. So any look I do on her is going to be executed and that's just that on that. But I'm just perfecting her brow right now. I wiped off a little part with the concealer, so I just filled it back in. And now we're doing the same thing on the other brow. You just slowly line the bottom and then just blend it out. Now I'm just going to take whatever excess of the lighter concealer I have left on my hand and I'm going to use it as her eyeshadow base. So I didn't use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer today. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And a little of this goes a long way when you're using it as an eyeshadow base. That's why I didn't really have to build mine up. As you can see, it's still pretty sheer. But the palette we're using is the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to mix those two browns together. And now I'm just going to lightly pat them on. To blend out the edges of those two browns, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm going to use that brown shade and just lightly blend it over the top. If y'all watch my videos, y'all should know this is like my favorite transition color to use that's why i've hit pan but now we're going to do the same thing on the other eye starting off with those two browns just packing them on and building up my color yana had already had a look in mind that she wanted me to do and it it really had more brown in it than anything which is why i'm just building as much brown up as possible
For my last transition, I'm going to go in with this yellow shade out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to pat it over the top of the last shadow that we went in with. To cut the crease, I'm going in with my old Faithful Elf Camo Concealer in the color Medium Sand. I don't know what kind of brush this is. I'm pretty sure I got it from the beauty supply store. So if I haven't rubbed off the label, I will try to have it listed down below in the description box as well. But you just want to take your time with your cut crease. I like to outline mine first and get the shape as round as possible and as sharp as I can get it. And then when I like it, I just fill it in with whatever concealer that I have left. You want to take your time when you're doing a cut crease because you want both of your creases to be even and perfectly rounded. You don't want your client to look cockeyed. After I have everything filled in, I'm just going to blend it out using that same buffing brush that I used to buff out the eyebrows. And then I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other eye. Get my shape as sharp as possible and just fill in. It's going to get very, very bright in these clips because I was directly in her face. So my hair was all in my ring light. But y'all can still see. I just fill it in and then sharpen it if I need to. We wanted to go for a bronze type of cut crease, so I mixed these two shades out of the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I just patted them on her eye using an elf eyeshadow brush. It is very important that you fill in every area of your cut crease with this shimmer shade if you're going to create this look, because these shimmers are basically serving as a base for our glitter eyeshadows, so you don't want anything peeking through that isn't a shimmer. So just make sure you take your time and you have every little line and crease filled in as much as possible. And after you get done with that, we're just gonna blend out the edges of the eyeshadow using that dark brown shade. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm just gonna do a straight line across her eye. I went for a thin line today. And then I just blended out the edges of that line using that brown out of the Julia's Play Zulu palette. And I also mixed it with a little black. Now I'm applying the glue to her lids that I'm using for my glitters. I mixed two together. One is from Isme New York. The other one is a J. La Rue pigment. And then I took this one on the outer edge of her eye to make it like an ombre effect. So right now I'm going in with the pigment in the Isme New York. I only applied it to the inner corners of her eye. And as you can see, it's very, very pigmented. I'm happy I mixed these two together because this is like a whole new level of sparkle. And now I'm just going in with that rose gold looking one. And Yana likes big blinks. So <laughs> we're going in with 25 millimeter lashes. And first, I'm going to clean off her face while I'm letting the glue dry on the lash. And now I'm just applying them. And I was directly in her face, which means my hair was directly in the ring light. So, yes, we look like we are in heaven, but that's okay. That's okay. Now I'm just going to put some black eyeshadow over the top of the lashes to make it blend a little bit more with the liner. And for her foundation, I used the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in these two concealers. As y'all know, I like to apply my foundation with a brush and then blend it out with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge so I can have control over the amount of foundation that I apply to her face. Yana already has flawless skin, so I don't really have to go in with a thick layer when I'm doing her foundation. I can be as light-handed as possible, and it'll still end up looking flawless. So I just lightly pat it out.
Now to highlight, I'm going in with those two concealers that I showed you guys. The first one is the darker concealer. I'm just basically using it kind of like a base for the lighter concealer. The first concealer kind of blends in with her foundation, so that's what you can go by. Now I'm going in with the lighter concealer. It's not that big of a difference between the two. This one may be like two, one or two shades lighter, but I'm just applying it on top of the first one. Now I'm going to use my black opal foundation stick, and I'm using it to contour her face. I'm going to just outline her cheekbones and then dot it around her forehead. I like to blend out the contour areas first using the same side of the beauty sponge that I use for the foundation and I'm just going to lightly pat it out. I'm going to flip the sponge and use a different side to blend out the highlighted areas of her face. I always save the under eyes last, so I'll blend out the nose, the chin, and then I'll go to the under eyes. And I like to sit right after I'm done blending them out. The set, I'm just going to use my Fit Me Press Powder in the shade Toffee, and I'm going to take it on my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I like to let her look up again and just blend out the under eyes one more time before I actually press the powder in, just so that I do not set any creases. But as you can see, this powder is very flawless, and it has a very smooth finish, which is why I like to take this on my clients. But I just set her under eyes first, and then I go in for the chin, the nose, and the forehead for last make sure everything is just blended out and then to set the contour areas of her face i'm gonna take my mac mineralized powder in the shade dark deep and i'm taking it on a fluffy angle brush and i'm just gonna pat everything in place After I have everything set in place, I like to take my Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut and I just carve out where I contoured. I don't really like to bake it after I carve it out with my sponge. I just lightly dust it off and then I blend out that area with my sponge because I don't want it to look harsh. I just want it to look a little bit neater. I like to lightly contour her nose using that MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Dark Deep. It's the same powder that I use to contour her face. And then I go in and blend it out a little bit with my buffing brush so it can appear natural. Now I'm setting the face. She preparing herself, y'all, because she know I shower her face with some setting spray. And then I'm going to blend it out, well, dry it out with my Bougie Girl fan. Come get a bougie face by Keto, period. And then I'm just going to pat it out before it's all the way dry. And now I'm just going to highlight and I'm taking my ABH Glow Kit and I'm using the darkest color in it. And I'm just going to lightly tap the highlighter on her face using an eyeshadow blending brush. I didn't want to go too crazy with the highlight, so after I apply it on her face, I'm going to go over it a little bit with my sponge and then apply more if I need it. So I did the same thing on the other side and now I'm just blending it out using my sponge. 
Look at her, y'all. Yeah. That's how my clients be. They know they pretty, and now I don't even know what they look like. But now I'm doing her waterline, and I'm putting gel liner using the Q-tip. Like I told y'all, this method right here, it goes by so quick. She hates this part, though, because she says it tickles her eyes, but we got to get it done. So, <laughs> now we're putting eyeshadow underneath that, and I'm going in with that brown shade that I used for the first transition. And now I'm going in with that Juvia's Place shade. And this is the result. Yes, yeah, see, this is why we do under eyes. It looks very feminine and seductive. So now I'm just putting mascara on her bottom lashes. She has very, very long bottom lashes. So I like to put mascara on them every time she sits in my chair. I told her they look like individuals. So I'm just doing that. And this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And now I'm just going to highlight her nose and blend it out with that fluffy blending brush and I also highlight the bridge of her nose after I get that finished I'm going to use that same brush and just apply highlight to the inner corners of her eye after that, we're just going to move on to the lips. I'm going to start by wiping her lips off with a cotton ball and my still water. Out of all the times Jana has came to me, this is the first time we've done a red lip. And I'm just going to line her lips using this Night Moth Lip Pencil and this Kiss Lip Liner from the Beauty Spot Store. And these two liquid lipsticks, all the shade names will be down below. But I'm going to carefully outline her lips using the Night Moth Lip Pencil from MAC. I took my time when I was doing so just because when you're doing a red lip you want to go very slow so that you do not go outside the line of her lips we were both kind of nervous for this I knew it was gonna come out good but she was nervous just because she already has full lips she didn't want them to look even bigger with the red lipstick so I wanted to take my time and make sure this lip was perfect so I lined the top and then I lined the bottom and the sides and after I get the whole perimeter line I just like to go in and fill in the edges with that kiss lip liner just because it's a little bit more creamier so it comes off easier I apologize y'all my hair was all in the ring light because I was directly in her face with this but I left the clips in just because I wanted y'all to see I took the liquid lipsticks on a flat synthetic brush and I used it to fill in her lips just so I could get it as perfect as possible. You can see me lightly filling them in but I just filled in the top and then I filled in the bottom and since these are liquid lipsticks I just had to wait for it to dry and it created this pretty matte as you can see and this is the finished look after I spray her face one more time so after I fan her face we're gonna get into the grand reveal and I'm gonna just let y'all watch it well I gotta fix my camera then I'm gonna let y'all watch it you ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, queens and beauty tees, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please like, comment, share, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow Yana on her social media and stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye.